Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you for stopping in and joining us up in here. Um, in this video, I'm going to show a little bit of different kind of stuff. Um, I was on the telephone with a, a, a fella I know down there in Florida. Any of you guys that's been uh, a subscriber for a while probably know who I'm speaking of. And we was talking and uh, I told him that, you know, I haven't had much time to do outboard stuff as of late because of all the uh, small engine repair I, I've been getting. Lawn mowers, pressure washers, weed eaters, that kind of thing. And uh, he goes, well, I wasn't even aware that you did that kind of stuff. And I said, oh, no, no, I do that kind of stuff. Um, and so I'm going to show a little bit of that in the video and who knows what else. But uh, I can guarantee you there will be an outboard in there. Uh, but this is just going to be kind of a typical day. How I bop around here and do things, so I say, let's get to it. I'm waiting for the drain hole to drain. If you can remember, I drilled another hole about a three-quarter inch above the plugged up drain hole, and then I cleaned out the plugged up drain hole as best I could. But what a beautiful cutie. It's a cutie. All right. She quit doing her... So, as a couple people have parented out, I have to uh, paint this, paint these, before I put it on my for sale rack. And I will do that. You understand. Man, I don't feel like lifting this. Ow! But I got to. Oh! I got to. I got to. Here we go. <clears throat> oh! My back already. Oh! Here we go. Oh! Oh! That feels so good. We got salmon smoking in the smoker, and I've got a few lawnmowers I got to get out the way. This is how I generally sharpen the blades on these things when the owner requests it. I just take it, 
put it in here, I unhook the spark plug so it don't do nothing stupid and then I can get the blades right here and line them up even with my bucket and uh, get these my regular old grinding wheel this one ain't nicked up too bad and I'll get sharpening now people often you know they say you need a jig and you gotta do this and a home you're not sharpening a fillet knife here you understand just follow the contour you can see the angle Of course, this is a good time to, you know, look up under there, see what your belt's doing, see if it's really bad worn, any major dings or dents. If you want, you can scrape that off for the customer and so forth. There you go. have to get me a razor knife. an axle finally What we got here is a little Honda one HR 173. 
And uh, the first thing that was wrong with it when I went to pull it over, nothing happened with the clutch dog in the recoil. And I think it's just seized up from sitting out in the weather is what it looks like. I get this quite a bit up here. Come on out of there. This is all rusty. And the post is even more rusty. The little post that the, the actual little catch dog goes on right here is all full of rust. So that'll just need to be cleaned. Now, will that get us to where the thing will start? Don't know. But let me get a little wire brush. Okay. Let's get this all cleaned up with a little brass brush. clean this little dog up and I'll get my little wire brush and run through the center hole too. That's always a good thing to do. Yeah. All right, be right back. I get me one of these little little bitty little bitty itty bitty and run through that center hole on that thing and get that thing all cleaned up in there. Much better. Don't that look a much better? So I hope the brush back. And I get me a little bit of geese. You got to have the geese. A little dab, a little bit of gee, 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 gee. There we go. Here goes some geese. Yeah. Then we put a little dog back. And now she should come right out of there and catch now. Put the spring back in. Now there may be a lot more along with this little. Honda, that I can't say, but where's my cap? There's my cap. That I can't say, but I can say that the little clutchy um doggy um thingy um is all pretty. Now, where's the slot? I feel like I might be doing something backwards here. Am I even in there? <laughs> Probably showing you all this stuff and none of it. None of it. Yeah, there is a little divot for the spring, I guess. That's what you call it. Is that right? No, it seems like it's there's two little bumps. And where do they go? They go in little, little slots right there, I think. Something. Something. 
Now let me take the spring out and see how it feels. Well, yeah, I can see my washer ain't exactly lined up either. There's some little, I don't think some little divots have anything to do with anything. Gosh, they sure look like they just should, though. Put this thing maybe. No, that fits on there like that. Yeah, I had it right. Right there is where it should go. Just behind that. Just behind that. Boop, 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 boop. Can't be loose like that, I don't think. There we go. There we go. Now let's see if it pulls out. Nope. Well, that won't work. <laughs> There we go. And then the mower, I think, would just kick it back in. Yep. So, you can see now it's a little dog right there. That should catch the lugs. Okay, yeah, it's good and tight. Alright, one more check. Yep. And over here, over here. There. Well, let me put the nuts back on this thing and see if I'll even pull over.
that's kind of a just a little bit on kind of how I bop around here during the day um, when I got the lawn mowers and the pressure washers weed eaters whatever I have to kind of step aside from my outboards and uh, you know getting them ready for flipping them and so forth and get on uh, the lawn mowers and whatnot but uh, you know but I get plenty of outboards that our customer brought in as well which then I feel like I'm killing about three birds with one stone you know that, that's what I do because I get to make a video and I'm getting paid to work on an outboard you understand so this one's probably getting a little bit long that's uh, gonna be a wrap on this one thank you for stopping in and as always that is one more hack from Kodiak thanks for watching more vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host Cody Rao.